You are listening to What's What Jamaica News TV, where we bring you the latest news. If you are new here and have not yet subscribed, kindly do so now. And now for the news. Guys, if this is a dream, wake me up from it. Did PP withdraws death penalty for confessed murder, Roshane Barnett? This is why Jamaican people zip lock them mouth, cock them ears, and wear blindfold. The law in Jamaica is a joke. What? Credit for talk? Is this cool? The sentencing of Coco Peace killer Roshane Barnett has been set for October 20th in the Home Circuit Court. Presiding Judge Justice Leighton Pusey said he wants time to consider the sentence that is to be imposed. Barnett was further reprimanded. Earlier at the sentencing hearing, Director of Public Prosecutions Paula Lowellin argued that Barnett, who pleaded guilty to five counts of murder, should get life in prison and should serve 55 years before being eligible for parole. The Crown is obliged to remove the death penalty as an option, Lowellin explained. During Barnett's first court appearance, the DPP's office had served notice that it would seek the death penalty. This is a matter of law. Everyone who pleads guilty is entitled to some amount of credit, she, uh, she added. People, now you tell me, what kind of a law is this, where you plead guilty to a terrible crime and you get rewarded? For what? To commit the crime? Is it what the criminals in re is rewarded for? I guess in this case, Jamaica is a good place to commit crime because they will get reward, they will get credit. She suggested that Pusey goes outside the normal sentence range of 15 years to life in prison. Lowellin recommended that as a starting point, Barnett should be sentenced to life in prison for each count of murder and not to be eligible for parole until after serving 60 years and 9 months. The DPP argued that the crime is one of the worst her office has ever seen in Jamaica. Responding, Barnett's lawyer, Tamika Harris, asked the judge to give him a 33 and one third percent discount on the sentence. Now, people, people must be very angry, and you can't blame them. To hear this one third of anything is a hell of a lot. If somebody give me one third of something, me thank them, give me one third. If they have a hundred dollars and then just take out one third and give me, me thank them a million times because one third is a whole lot. He has saved the court's time and resources, she said. That's her excuse. Is it because him talk? or because she, as the defense lawyer, will not have to waste her time. By pleading guilty, he is showing that he is remorseful. She said, He was convicted in July of five counts of murder in relation to the killings of his cousins, Kamisha Wright, Kimanda Smith, 15-year-old, Raphaelia Smith, 5-year-old, Sarah Lee Smith, 12-year-old, and the 23-month-old, Kishan Henry Jr. The victims were discovered inside their Coco Peace home in Clarendon with chop wounds and their throats slashed on June 21. Barnett, who had been staying at the house, fled the area to Wilson Run in Trelawney but was later apprehended in the parish. This is really a joke. They removed the death sentence. 
And now, asking for 33 and one third percent. Guys, what do you think? Do you think he's entitled to 33 and one third percent? Given the type of crime that he committed, he should have served three, at least five life sentences. If he was in America, no credit. They would have slapped five life sentences on him, one for every victim. This is why, you know, this is why, because he's going to come out back. If they give him a 33% per that man is going to come out back and he's got, I mean, he might not be able to do anything because he's an old man then, but he's not entitled to it. He's not entitled to no more time out on the street. This guy fit dead a prison. And it's like a slap in the wrist. Because him going there now, he might eat up taxpayer money. Him, everything that he's doing is free taxpayer. What happened to the young, the 23 month old kid who never get a chance? Eh, eh Something wrong with this law. Them giving too many criminals credit out there. And some of them know say them going to walk eventually. And this is why they really don't care about what them are doing to Jamaica. They need to revise this law. Soon and very soon too. Guys, thank you for watching What's What Jamaica News TV. If you have watched the video so far, make sure you subscribe right now like up the video share the video and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss another video you will be notified every time that i post a new video